before we can proceed with the filling up with the PNPK application, we still need to prepare. We have preparatory activities for for the passport photo and the scan signature. So the ITO of Calbayo has prepared a very comp comprehensive guy guide. So DepEd, we can search Calbayo DepEd PNPKI. Now in here, it says that please read first the whole instruction before accomplishing, accomplishing using your laptop and PC. So it is very clear that we can't use the phone in order for the application. We need to use the computer to avoid any problems. So preparatory activities prior to applying for the PNPKI digital certificate are as follows. So the securing of a passport size ID picture, which is 4.5 cm by 3.5 cm and then securing of a soft cap copy of the electronic signature okay so we will have another video for that as well now it is important to note that there is a minimum of 600 dpi for each of the so in order to do that i have prepared uh, you can use the app that i'm recommending or if you already have a picture you might scan that also have the resolution of 600 dpi it is important to note that the picture must be taken within the last six months Okay, so you may use your smartphone and follow this guide. Okay, so we first go to Google Play and then we search for Passport, passport Photo Editor. Now the beauty about this app is it makes it easier for us to comply with the requirements of the PNPKI application, uh, including the 600 dpi and the dimensions that's necessary for us to be able to put our photo in the application, Passport Photo. Okay, so it's installing right now. And then we open it okay tap on get started and then we tap on new photo then we search for the philippines which has 35 mm by 45 m 45 mm and then we tap on that and then we choose 600 dpi click tap okay and then we tap camera and it's important to go along the edges so that we are compliant. Take the photo. Then we start editing. It automatically tilts. Then if you want to edit it, you can explore the features. The most important is you adjust the crop to make it like an authentic passport photo. And then you tap on crop. Okay, so you have you can have filters. Then you can click save. Now we skip the backward rem remover, but you can explore that as well. And you change your file name. Then you save. So the file size is 448 KB, KB so it's very small. Then you tap done and tap on finish. Okay, so we email this photo so it will be easier for us to use it during our application so we share and then tap on Gmail and send it to the email where you will open so that you can get the photo okay so I think that's it